but I paid $5,200 for all of these sneakers, which is absolutely insane. What's up family, it's your boy Dylan Sangley. We are back again with another banger video. So today I'm gonna show you guys the craziest sneakers I've ever bought at a sneaker meetup. So before I show you guys that, let's go and roll the clip of when I was at the sneaker meetup. It's, oh shit. Damn! Damn. <laughs> Alright, brother, I got you. 52, 52. <laughs> See you. Much love, brother. Appreciate you. So for obvious reasons, I took out the sneakers so I could show you guys in this video, but I paid $5,200 for all of these sneakers, which is absolutely insane. If you guys haven't already, please make sure you guys go like, comment, subscribe down below. I'm going to be giving a random supporter a shout out on my next community post. All you got to do is comment down below your grail sneakers of all time. Without further ado, let's go and check out all these sneakers. So the first sneakers is in this box. It was actually a foam runner box, so it is a replacement. But I haven't seen these sneakers since like middle school or high school, man. These are the Fear of God Vans. And honestly, this was a grail when I was young. If you know, you already know. Crazy thing is, these are actually brand new. All the pairs in this video are brand new. And uh, you guys see the other one. They actually should have put a uh, shrink wrap on this pair too, because honestly, it got dirty over time. You guys see like, due to age, it started yellowing right here. On here, you don't really see a lot. <laughs> on here, you don't really see a lot of yellowing, but um, hold on. But yeah, here goes the extra laces that just fell down. And then, yeah, man, honestly, such a grail pair. So the market of these right now is actually insane. For a size 13, they're going for $737 on stock X. Again, these are a pair of Vans. You guys already know, man, we're starting off with a heater and I can't wait to show you guys the last pair. So make sure you guys go stay tuned to the end of the video to check that out. All right, so the next pair, I actually had all of them out of the box already so i'm just gonna cover it like this but if you guys already know the box this is the jordan one trophy rooms unfortunately it's not the friends and family edition to make it a friends and family edition all you need to do is literally buy the blue laces i don't understand the the whole hype of that so when i posted the short form video of the meetup someone actually hit me up asking me if this was a friends and family pair and i said no right and realistically like i said the only thing that is different with the friends and family pair and this pair is that this this pair doesn't have the blue laces the other pair does and obviously I had to break him the news that these weren't friends and family he was like oh you know I'm, I'm looking for a friends and family pair and I'm like why like why does it matter like you can literally buy blue laces right now on eBay but you guys already know how sneaker heads are man right it has to be you know factory laces friends and family right but realistically man like I said if you ever got a pair of these buy the blue laces for like five bucks ten dollars on ebay and you got yourself a friends and family pair you guys see it this right here is a size nine and a half and we're actually gonna go check market on these ones as well again another grail pair in my hand so if this was the second shoe i'm showing you guys and there's four pairs total you can only imagine what I'm gonna show you guys for the last pair. So a size nine and a half, brand new, goes for $924, man. And that is absolutely insane. So already with the two pairs, our total market value is $1,661, which is freaking crazy. Now these next two pairs are gonna be absolute grails. If you guys haven't checked out that short form video yet, yeah, I'm pretty sure I posted it here on YouTube and all my other social media platforms at DSangle. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go follow me at DSangle on all social media platforms. Coming at you with another grail pair. As you guys could see, no size tag right here on this side of the box. We take it out of the sleeve. No size tag here on this side of the box. So what does that mean? So I actually had the pair out. As you guys can see, it is a Travis Scott Fragment High, right? And it is a size 12. So you guys are probably wondering, Dylan, what is so special about this Travis Scott? How come there was no box tag? You know, what is the difference, right? Guys, this is actually a sample Jordan 1 
fragment Travis Scott pair so as you guys could see from the photo this is a promo sample and honestly you guys are probably wondering Dylan okay so it is a promo sample what is the difference between the two to be honest with you I do not think there is any difference with this pair other than the tag obviously that says promo other than the tag inside of the shoes and the box not having a size tag I think that's literally it people may be wondering you know what is the market on this we're actually gonna go check it out right now for a size 12 okay here we go we got the sample pair size 12 obviously as you guys could see there are no listings right now so realistically we're just gonna go to the size 12 original pair um, that did release and man this actually went up since the last time I saw it and it is now at two thousand seven hundred ninety nine dollars guys that is insane I think the last time I bought this pair it was at like twenty one hundred so literally sitting on these sneakers alone I made like six hundred bucks but again this is a promo sample pair so the original one goes for twenty seven ninety nine but let's just say hypothetically someone's willing to pay that price at minimum or a little bit higher because it is a promo sample so let's say the market value of these sneakers we'll just say twenty nine hundred twenty nine hundred dollars we'll just add another hundred dollars to it whatever right because it is a unique pair right so we'll go ahead and add the twenty nine hundred and now our total is four thousand five hundred sixty one dollars guys and keep in mind we paid five thousand two hundred dollars for the whole deal all right and we got one more pair left. I'm very, very excited to show you guys this pair. So hold your horses, man. All right, we're gonna go and show you guys that right now after I put these shoes back, all right? All right, guys, for the last pair, I kept it in the box because of how excited I was for this shoe. But anyways, if you guys see the green box, man, I'm super excited to show you guys this. If you know, if you're a sneakerhead, you already know, right? Size 12. Swarovski. Oh man. All right, here we go. So first and foremost, we got the bag for it, right? We got the bag for it. You guys see it? Beautiful bag, nice quality as always. The next pair and the last pair we got, last but never the least, is the Nike Dunk Low CPFM. I don't know if this is an SB, I'm pretty sure it is. I guess not. I guess this is a Dunk Low. I thought initially this was an SB because of the fat tongue right here, but I don't know. I think it is only a Dunk Low. But you guys see, we got the CPFM Swarovskis, man. And, and if you guys know about these sneakers and the market of these sneakers, they absolutely skyrocketed. Very excited to see what the market is now on these. All right, so I'm checking StockX right now and I am going to confirm that it is a Nike Dunk Low and not a Nike SB Dunk Low. Again, I initially thought that this was an SB due to the fat tongue right here. The market value of these sneakers right now currently stands at $7,050. Dollars. Oh my gosh, that is insane, right? Highest bid right now is $3,500. When I bought these shoes, I think someone offered me like $3,500 already. So even at that price, right? So let's just say we add that on, right, to our current total market value. So even $3,500 guaranteed, that's $8,061, okay? So let's say we take that off and we put the current value, which is $7,050, all right, we're gonna go put Put $7,050. Total market value for the whole deal, including all four sneakers, is $11,611, man. Wow. All right. So as you guys can see, that is $6,411 profit if I were to sell each and every pair for market value. As you guys already know, we always give you guys steals and deals at Designer Steals and Deals. So if you guys haven't checked out those pages yet on IG, make sure you guys go do so and make sure you guys go check out our ebay store designer deals which can all be found in the link in the description down below but man i'm super hyped for these and honestly i want to keep these dead stock because i feel like they're going to keep going up in value again this pair used to go for two thousand dollars now they're at seven thousand dollars which is absolutely insane let me know what are you guys thoughts on this whole deal did your boy take a w or did i take an l let me know down below and let me know what your favorite pair is from the whole deal man I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for love and support. Stay tuned for our next video. Till next time, we'll see y'all. So I love y'all so much. Noise member, don't sleep. We got the heat. Love y'all, man. Peace.